Hello and welcome. This is Devanshi Shah and you're watching its Tomorrow News. Last Saturday's earthquake killed more than 6000 people and injured at least 11000 and there are fears that final death toll could reach double that number. Tremors were felt quake of magnitude 5.4 on Wednesday. The UN says more than 8 million people have been affected by the quake and at least 70,000 houses have been destroyed. In several villages northeast of the capital Kathmandu, where no buildings have been left untouched and bodies are still lying under the rubble. Luckily, one man and an 8-month-old child is also alive in Kathmandu after 80 hours from rubble. Over 2 lakh people are homeless. Frustration is growing in parts of rural Nepal over the speed of relief efforts, with some badly affected villages yet to receive any help. The UN has appealed for $415 million to help provide emergency relief more than the next three months. India has sent in tons of food, water, planes and rescue helicopters and other nations have also offered millions of dollars in help. After devastating earthquake, weather of Nepal has been hampering and certainly not helping the rescue situation. Nepal faces few showers, thunderstorms and hail in last couple of days and temperatures has also dropped down. These make situations worse for people. Local people of Kathmandu said they will starve to death and could get diseases like cholera and dysentery and there could be an epidemic. There is a continued risk of landslides and avalanches in Nepal over the next few days. That's all for now. For more updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News. Devanshi Shah.